Hi everyone. Um, I actually suffered for my art today. Um, you can see it's bled through four layers of gauze, two layers of tape, and then it bled through the napkin that I had holding over it, keeping pressure on it, and bled through another napkin that I had pressure and I had held pressure on it and bled through that. Then it finally stopped bleeding, so my dad did his best to heal it up for me, but um, I'm waiting until my mom gets home to do it better. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Um, <laughs> it looked like a botched surgery over there. What we had, he had all this bloody napkins and crap all over the bed, and there was all these band-aids and gauze, and I mean, there was pliers <laughs> sitting there when he was showing me how to cut the shank off of a button correctly, because that's what I was doing. I was doing it with my scissors, which are now bloody scissors. And, um, cause that, that usually works. And I've, the hundreds of buttons I've cut shanks off of, I've never cut myself. And I, this is actually the same finger that I cut the end of the finger off with, um, an X-Acto knife several years ago. And I actually found the chunk of skin in the trash can, and it was disgusting. I'm like, are you serious? It's, it was nasty. I'm sorry if I'm grossing you out, which I probably am. But I just wanted to let you know, this hurts. But... Uh, I'm going to show you a mini album anyway. Um, this is a coin envelope mini album. And it says Spooky. That's the title. And that's embossed. This is using a, um, a die that I got from Nicole. And this is a flower I made out of fabric and lace. And it's got lots of fibers and ribbon over here on the edge to pretty it up. And this is flocked paper, so that's really fun. And on the coin envelopes, I used a EK Success border punch on the edge. And each pa and each page is a, is a, has a pocket. And so I'll just go ahead and show you this one. But this tag is pretty simple. I wanted to leave, since these are so small, I wanted to leave lots of room for pictures because um, she said that, I think this is for Irene. I get so mixed up with the names of people. Yeah, I think this is for Irene. Hi, Irene. Um, she says she found some pictures of her kids as in, you know when they from Halloween when they were little. They're they're grown up now, and I wanted to give her lots of lots of space to um, put pictures. Those pictures that she found, and then over here I wrote spooky. I did, I did embossed it with UT, and then went over it with uh, distress inks, and it just slides back in there. So there's not a whole lot of, you know, over embellishment in this album, which is really hard for me to do. And then this page. And this is one of those, you just take the um, little clip off. That just keeps it from flopping around so, so, so much. And it opens up so that you have these pages right here. And then it also opens up like that. So that's pretty cool. And then this page, and most of these pages are glimmer misted. Some of them I forgot to. But this tag is very simple. Got room for a photo. It's just a candelabra. And then here it's just a simple with, with room for um, this one she could write on or she could put a picture over it. And get the tag back in. I'm very anal about um, where the tags go. and I take them out, I won't remember exactly where they go and that'll bother me. So... <laughs> Um, and then this page, um, this is a chipboard frame I got in a swap, and these are little little bats down here on the corners, and this is just a page. And this what's this will pop up. It's glued down, but it's not very it's not glued down very hard, so um, she can pop it up and put a picture behind it. And this is um, with my dad it had an interesting perspective. He thought it looked like it was tied like a gift like a gift like a a present. Um, the way I did the bow here in the ribbon, and I hadn't thought about that, and I'm like, yeah, let's guess that's what it is, what it looks like. And I did some embossing here with my new purple embossing powder, and this tag has purple glimmer mist, and I used this for a journaling. And this is actually I first I just addressed it with distress inks. I just used a um, one of those Manila file folders and used those as my tags and cut them to size and then I embossed this script 
and it didn't really come through over here so I stamped trick or treat over it to give it a really really distressed look and then all the glimmer thing I did on the back bled through and gave it this really distressed look and it looks awesome and I'm really glad it happened and there is a fly in my hair that's disgusting okay sorry oh is there something buzzing I'm like what is on earth is that this fly in my hair that's disgusting this video cannot go any worse um, we've had a fly problem in this house and I don't know why I guess because it's warm and it's getting cool outside and they just want some place to some place warm to be and then there's this page which is simple it's just for photos and this is these have stickles all over them and this took like three hours to dry thank you stickles and then here we have a page let me get it out of the way so you can see the whole thing uh, page for a picture or journaling whichever she wants and got some gemstones here and this says beware it's an epoxy sticker and then this page or this tag comes out and it's a vertical one and let's see if I can get it so you can see the whole thing and I cut it like a tag shape and then here and now the flies on my video camera get off ah see see what happens Okay, let me see if I can get, there we go. <laughs> and um, this is a really cool epoxy sticker that I bought. And it has like a braid then with the chair. And I just distressed this with peel paint, distress ink. And just kind of dabbed over it. And then in some places I rubbed it. So I just put this back. Hopefully that fly will leave us alone for the rest of this video. And then go die. And, ah, see, this is a disaster. And I really don't want to redo this because my finger hurts and I'm just trying to distract myself. And then there's this page and the shadow looks so much darker on on camera than it does in real life. Like the shadow is barely noticeable here when I'm looking at it outside the camera. On camera it looks really like a marked difference. Um, but this is just another one of those same things in the front. And I glimmer misted it with metal green and used these Tim Holtz long fasteners. And I love those because they are small, but they're have the long and they're long enough to go through lots of paper, which is nice when I'm making my carnations. And this is covered with really cool paper that Nicole sent to me, and I cut it down to size and put it over this um, frames page. Stupid fly! And then this cat sticker. I think she sent me these. And then this tag just has a glitter candelabra on it and then and then a glittered chandelier or not glitter but epoxy chandelier this is a good place for a really small photo or just some notes and we're almost done in this page it just says haunted and it's got it's just a spider web page and this is good and glimmer misted and I used the dazzling diamonds and pearl you can't tell the difference between the two so if you're like debating between one or the other don't worry because they look exactly exactly the same In this page I used some paper of my own finally and I've got these stickers here from Martha Stewart and actually I got these stickers from uh, my friend throws um, her name is her name is Irma but um, we call her throws because that's her one of the part of her screen name but there's a candle a goblet and a bat and the last tag it's flocked with these cool bats turned over and then there's cool um, cool cat and these or that flies back in my hair disgusting just washed it too it's still wet and then finally the last page we have it looks like this and it's um, this is some orange lace trim and then you got a, this is a spider web pattern paper here for, for a nice photo map so that is my coin envelope mini there are six pages to it and I hope Irene really likes it and I hope that she can find a good use for it and put lots of pictures in it and keep some memories alive um, I know you found those pictures Irene and I think that you really I wanted to make a, a, a book that would give you lots of lots of room for it and so this is what I had at my disposal and I thought I'd try it out and it, I think it turned out pretty good so thanks everyone for watching I appreciate it 
And that is it. Bye, guys. It's still rolling. Bye. <laughs>